Hi everyone and welcome to the KaleidoFrame tutorial. Today I'll be using Adobe Photoshop 7, but if you have Adobe Photoshop Elements, this technique should work with those versions also. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and imported the KaleidoFrame that I'll be using and also the photograph that I'd like to place behind it. So the first decision that you have to make is what size do I want my KaleidoFrame to be? They come standard 6 inches and 300 dpi. If you'd like to change this to maybe a popular photo frame, say 5x7, you would go up to Image, click Image Size, and because we've got the Constraint Proportions check mark on here, whatever I type in the box, see if I said 8, it's going to change it to 8x8. Eight eight. So what I need to do is take that check mark off, go up to Width, I'm going to say 7, and Height 5. And when I hit OK, it automatically changes it to the 5x7 frame that we would want. But for today's tutorial, I'd like to keep it as a square. So I'm going to go back up to Edit, say Step Backward, and that undoes the action that we just did. So now the next step would be to take the photograph and drag and drop it onto the frame. So I'm simply going to click on the photograph, then I'm going to click and hold, drag and drop it onto the frame. Now there's two things we need to address here. The first is the photo needs to be placed behind the frame and also the second thing would be to resize the image. So let's address the first thing which will be placing the photo behind the frame. So I'm going to drag it up to the left hand corner. Then I'm going to go over to my layers palette. I'm going to click and hold on layer 0 and drag and drop it on top of layer 1. So this way it reorders them layer 0 and layer 1. Then layer 1 is my photograph, so I'm going to click on that. Now when I go back over here, I can freely move that image around within the frame. So let's just leave it up in the corner, and now we'll address the resizing. To do that, you need to transform the image. And there's a keyboard shortcut, just hold down the control key and the letter T. And now you can see that there's a little boxes on the corners and on the center line. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click on the right hand corner on the bottom here. Now by doing this, and I'm going to just click on it with my mouse, and as I drag my mouse it resizes it, but it maintains the aspect ratio of the photograph. That way it won't be distorted. And as I'm resizing I need to make sure that I clear the center part of the frame. So you can see here I've got quite a bit of distance here and here. Now I'm going to release my shift key, then click on the photograph and place that into the frame. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I just need to confirm this action. And to do that, just go up to your menu bar and click on the check mark. So now that I've placed my photo in here, I can still move it around. I mean, I, I definitely have some room to play. But the one thing you need to pay particular attention to is if I drag this picture down just a little bit here, you can see, we can actually see the top edge of the photograph and it leaves a very distinctive line. So you just need to make sure that when you're resizing your image that you give yourself enough clearance to avoid that. So I'm pretty happy with this and I hope this, this helps you and this inspires you to use the Collider Frames and make some beautiful designs of your own. Thank you very much and have a great day.